I had a guy ask me today if I would do a video on how to fix a sagging frame. And uh, when we built this truck, we put it on a different chassis. And uh, after we built it, it looked good. After we started driving it, the frame started sagging. It was sagging to the point that this gap got to touching at the top. The bed started touching the back of the cab. Well, we knew that the frame was sagging. We tried to fix it. What I tried to do to fix it is where we work, they got some hooks in the concrete. So I went, wrapped the chain around the front of the frame and the back of the frame and jacked up in the middle with a three-ton floor jack. Jack, jack, jack until that jack just wouldn't do no more and uh, let it set for a while. Released that jack. Thing went back to sagging. After we did that, got to talking to a few people. Actually, the guy I work for, older feller, He's built three or four different custom builds, putting semi trucks on car frames. So he's been through the same thing with the frames and chassis sagging. And uh, he gave me a little advice on how to fix it. So I can't take credit for this. But let me crawl under here and I'll show you exactly what we did to finally get this thing fixed. But. The only reason he really knew what to do is because he's had some house frames and some barn frames start sagging. And uh, what he done is he just runs a bead down the bottom of that beam from, you know, a welding bead. And it pulls that steel together and pulls that sag out of it and makes it, you know, go back the other way. Well, let me get on here and show you. When we try to use the floor to bend this chassis and frame back, we wrapped a chain around here. Now, this is a box car frame. We never thought that it would bend or sag, but it did. We wrapped the chain around right back there, and we jacked up right here. No matter how much we jacked, it would always just spring right back. So what this old timer told me to do is just to go ahead and run a bead right in the middle of this frame all the way down. And that'll pull that metal to where it'll suck that frame back up. And what we did is we just got a piece of quarter by two. It's the same width as this tube here put it and we stitch welded it don't give me too much hell it's not very pretty but we haven't really cleaned it up or finished it yet but after we did that we just stitch welded it on the front stitch welded in between on the back and it pulled that frame right back up to where it was before but as he tells it you can just run a flat bead you don't have to run that, but you just got to kind of watch it as you're doing it because it can draw it too much and you'll wind up in the opposite situation you're in with it sagging. And I don't know if putting this flat on there really helped, but it sure made it easier to weld to and we felt like we could control how much it pulled a little a little better than just running a straight bead but it pulled it right back made all the body lines back straight and took every bit of sag back out of this frame did the same thing on both sides and I hope this helps with anybody that's had any sagging frames